Becoming Miss America was a real journey for me. It was not uh, something that happened very quickly. For a lot of people uh, in the pageant world, they may enter their first local pageant, go on to the state, then on to the national pageant. That wasn't the journey for me, and it's usually not the journey for many people. The journey to become Miss America is one that is truly, you have to embrace the fact that it may take a little while. Uh, it's a lot to learn. It's a whole world in itself. There are um, people that have dedicated their whole life to being involved in the pageant system. I came into the system a little later in life. I was uh, 17 when I really uh, felt like I wanted to be involved. And mostly for me and many of you watching may be the same reason. I needed scholarship to go to college. So I wanted to be in the system because there was always some type of scholarship. The Miss America pageant is the largest scholarship contributions in the world for women. And so because of that, it, was, it seemed like the simplest system for me to be involved in. And for me, and this may be something you uh, don't know, but the Miss America system is very involved with talent. A uh, very uh, a big part of your uh, competition, a big part of your judging is on a talent. Now, if talent is not your strong suit, you might be more interested in the USA system or some of the other systems. Now, if you're 18 years old or over, I recommend either the USA system, which has no talent competition portion, or the Miss America system, which of course is the one that I was in and always recommended above all others simply because I had talent and talent was my biggest, um, I think it was probably my best part that I had to, to offer. So find a pageant that you're comfortable with, find a pageant that's in your area. Um, now you can go on Google search, you can search on the websites, you can find which one you're more comfortable with, you can find who's in your area, and just start asking questions. Once you decide you want to be in a system, then you need to get instructions from people that are running those systems. If it's the Miss USA system, you need to find out what do they wear in that system. Uh, just because they wear it in Miss America doesn't mean they wear it in Miss USA, and vice versa. You have to, if you are in a, a younger system, in the teen system, or in junior Miss, or in some of the younger systems, there are clothing that's uh, acceptable that uh, may, not, uh, may not work in the other system. So these are the type of things you need to know. The Cinderella system is a really good pageant system and it starts very young and they have different categories of age as you go. And there is dress appropriate in different divisions. And those are the things that if you don't ask questions, you'll think, oh, this works. And yet it may not. So you need to find out what's acceptable in that system at that phase of the age group. Now when you get into the Miss America system, which is the one I'm going to talk to you the most about because it's the one I'm the most familiar with, as I said, it always has scholarship available, whether it be for a runner-up or maybe you won swimsuit or maybe you win talent or maybe you win the pageant. You're going to get some form of scholarship and that's to keep you in education, to keep you in the education system. Now as you go through the system, uh, you may not win right away. I entered my first year and I lost, but I learned. I learned um, better, different things to wear, things that were more appropriate for the interview, things that were more appropriate for the swimsuit, uh, things that I never even thought about colors before. Now everybody seems to know, but at that time I didn't understand that certain colors look better under the lights and certain colors look better on you when you have makeup, uh, more makeup on. These are the things that you'll learn along the way. And there are plenty of people to help you now. So just get your information. Get uh, guidance. Don't be afraid to ask people to help you. If there are pageant stores in your area, go there first and speak to the owners and speak to the people that run those, those stores and ask them, what do you know about this system? What do you know about this pageant system? What are they wearing in this system? And normally those people are very, uh, they, are, they are a wealth of information normally as to what shoes they're wearing right now because one year pumps may be in, um, more of the taupe pump or the uh, next year it might be more of the clear sandal. So you need to ask those questions because just because it was popular when I was Miss America or when I was competing or maybe even 10 years ago doesn't mean it's popular today. So ask those questions and get your information. Be incredibly prepared for interview. Interview is where you win or lose the pageant every time, whether it be on the local level, 
the state level or the national level. And people say, what do you mean you win or lose an interview? Interview is what causes them to remember you. So if you do well in interview, even if your talent's not the best, but they love your personality, they're going to like your talent more. Or um, they're going to notice you in the evening gown. They're going to notice you in your swimsuit. Because they liked you in interview, they like your personality, they know you can handle yourself. Let's talk about interview for a minute. Interview is very important. Uh, don't just go in and be uninformed about what's going on. People say, well, I don't need to know about politics. You should know anyway. But you need to know what's going on in the world around you, and you need to form an opinion. You say, what do you mean? I'm 18 years old. I'm 20 years old. How can I have an opinion? You can form an opinion. It may change as you progress in age. It may change. It may develop. But you need to have an opinion right now. What do you feel about who's in office in your local area, in your state area, and even in the national area? You need to form opinions. You might say, well, that's just too much information for me. No, it's not. Get three by five note cards and make little notes of different the ideas and thoughts. And then on the back, put at least one, two, three points that you could use for a myriad of questions with that topic. So no matter, it might be 20 different questions come from this topic. You have your A, your B, and your C that you can pull from your memory. Keep those cards with you. Keep them in your purse. Keep them in your car. Go over them. Remind yourself what you believe about certain things. We're not looking in the pageant system for these little robots. They're not looking for uh, the same person every year. They're looking for you, but they want you to have a brain. They want you to be able to use your brain. They want you to be able to speak and be able to communicate. Be very careful about using certain words. When I watched myself on video, when I was getting ready for the Miss America pageant, I had a go-to word. And when I would think, I used that word. And it was, well, basically, and I would say that like 50 times in a seven-minute interview. People notice that when they're the one listening to you. So get, put yourself on video and listen as you speak. When you're thinking, people have certain words. Most people say, uh, really very annoying. So pay attention to yourself when you're speaking. Watch yourself on video. Um, use uh, recording devices to listen to yourself answer questions. And don't spend five minutes on one answer because they'd like to get to know you. And usually the interviews are very short. So keep your answers concise and to the point. Well, today we have talked about getting into a system, finding maybe some information around for your local area because you're going to start on the local area and that's the area you need to start with. A store in your area, someone who supplies the swimsuits, someone who supplies the evening gowns and find out from them who's a good trainer in the area, who can train me for interview. And don't be afraid to sit down and do mock interviews too. So we've talked about interview. Use your brain. You're an intelligent woman. Just because you wear makeup and you do your hair nicely and you wear nice clothes and you, and you wear really high heels doesn't mean you're stupid. Make sure you use your brain. You are a smart woman. Know it. Act like it. Believe in yourself. If you don't believe in yourself, no one else is going to believe in you. If you're intimidated, everyone's going to pick that up. But if you're confident and you're secure, people are going to pick that up too. Don't try to be like somebody else. Be the best you you can be. And that will always equal winner in the long run.